This is called back gaze. Page is three. Page is three here. This is called back gauge for the digital car users. It is mini USB cable. And this is OBD cable for your car to insert Velcro tape for attachment. This is to install the firmware and the instructions in PDF file. And then this is quick setup guide for quick setup. This is that case for digital car owners. So I'm gonna open AG logo and touch button, mini USB port. You can see OBD port connection like this. Not that big and easy to control. This is lamp. So when the DPF regeneration is operating, this LED lamp is blinking. So your diesel filter is operating or not. This is one of my favorite functions of that gauge. I'm gonna explain more functions of that gauge in my car. Let's move. I'm gonna install this into my car. So I'm gonna show you now. Follow me. It is very easy to install. Firstly, you put this OBD2 cable to this port. Right. This. <laughs> and then I already arranged this line later. And then they follow this, this, this. And then. I'm, I'm inside my car. It is provided with uh, both sided tape. So you can pass that here, 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 anywhere. You can put this deck gauge. The way to turn on and off the deck gauge is very simple. You just <coughs> start up. And then it turned off. This big number is for current speed. So when you drive the car, the number will appear here. You can see the number one, two, three. You can use totally three pages for customizing the data and arrange everything here. Your battery status, voltage. So this is TPMS. Next page, current speed, RPM, boost, intake temperature here. Horsepower, torque, uh, Excel position. When you want to enter the diagnosis mode for finding error code of your car, press this button like this. You see? So you can reset your fuel economy, find your trouble code, reset your engine oil life, and exit. So I'm gonna enter the trouble diagnosis mode. Here. You see, it's, it, it is processing. Engine is okay. Transmission okay. Brake system is okay. When you find something wrong on your car, the error code will be appeared on this place. So you can tell this code to your engineer. He will fix your car. These two are the powerful function on that gate. It is very important for a digital owner. This data is for distance after regeneration. After DPF regeneration, this car have drive about 157 kilometers. And then in your DPF, it is filled with the part speed. When it's up to 100%, the regeneration will be operated. So these two functions are very useful to manage your DPF. This is the setup program for setting the data. Uh, page is three. Page is three here. I put day mileage, moment mileage, total distance, total mileage, total distance, elapsed time, engine oil temperature, engine oil life. This is your engine oil life, engine oil temperature. This is elapsed time, speed, and other things like performance of your car. You can check everything of your car. So this is decades.
for watching my video. If you are satisfied with this decade or like my video, click like and subscribe button. Thank you.